Hey, you two, uh -uh, you two, stop. Get on your knees, both of y'all. Dispatch, be advised, you got 115. Gonna be a WMA dressed like a clown out of here. Power Street, lower Power Street. Hey guys, what is up? Welcome back to the channel. We're playing some more LSBDFR. We're going to be out here in Pillbox Hill, Metro Los Santos. Hope everybody's doing great today. Uh, we do have a new vest installed. This is the Hanako vest. It's real popular off the LSBDFR.com site. Got some zip ties in the back. Check that out. Pretty nice. That's if you run out of handcuffs. Uh, this particular vehicle pack is by Sniper67. Uh, it took me a little while to find it. I made a video with these a long time ago, but people kept asking me for it, so... It's coming to the GTA Police Mods.com site. I'll link it down below in the description. Be sure to look out for that. For George. We do have live police radio going. I do believe that's LA County Sheriff's Department, if I'm not mistaken. Same ID one. Dispatch, show me 1041 tonight, please. All right, let's get started, guys. It's a nice uh, FBIU. Uh, let's flip on our pra uh, plate readers. We got ALPRs on the top. Flip those on. That way we can kind of patrol around a little bit. Let's see what we kind of get into out here. Oh my gosh, we got a stolen vehicle and we have to go to a call. Really? Dispatch responding code 2. 10 4, copy. Sam, 81. Okay, well, that was interesting. We had a stolen vehicle pass us on the left. And I didn't see what kind of vehicle it was. I should have radioed in to dispatch to let them know. Oh, let's kind of cut through here. So we had someone disturbing the peace down here. I think it may be... Oh, there they are. They're fighting down here. Okay. Dispatch, show me on scene. Alta Street, SR-19. Got some people fighting. A new taser. Dispatch requesting code 3 backup. We got a male and female fighting out here. Hi, uh, Pillbox Hill. Hi, right, near uh, Alta Street. Hey. Stop. Uh-uh. Stop. Hey, you two. Uh-uh. You two. Stop. Get on your knees. Both of y'all. Stay right there. Do not move, okay? Stay just like that until the backup arrives here. Okay, they're coming. They should run over here in a second. Dispatch be advised, we got two at Taser Point. Hello. Near Alta Street. 10 4, copy. All right, let's go ahead and get this lady up here. We're going to go ahead and place her in arrest. He reeks of alcohol. It's probably a uh, domestic, I'm sure. All right, get up here, bud. So, what are y'all fighting for out here? Required. Dispatch requesting um, female officer, Alter Street. For a pat down. I didn't say vehicle. Dispatch requesting female officer. Sometimes uh, grammar police just does not want to work with my Texas accent. What can I say? All right, buddy, anything illegal on you? Now let me ask him a few questions here. Anything legal I should know about? No, I'm not seeing shit, cop. Alright, what am I going to find if I search you? Huh? Now you know, a little bit of Snow White, just party pouch, you know. Alright. Nothing better poke me, stick me, or anything like that. Quarter gram brown powder, huh? What's that about? He does have a gun permit. He didn't have a gun on him, though. All right, kneel down right there. 
until the uh, female officer gets here. Okay, I'm going to have her pat her down. You like those zip ties in the back? It's pretty cool, right? You can uh, kind of role play that out, you know, if you run out of handcuffs, things like that. Hi. Hey there, officer. Hey, can you pat her down for me? Uh, she was uh, assaulting or they were fighting, basically. All right, go ahead and pat her down for me. We're going to see what they uh, find on her. Okay, not much. He had some brown powder residue. Uh, you know, I really wish... I'll let you do out here. I'll show you a little trick, guys. Watch this. So you got her, right? Uh, let's have her follow us. And then get this guy up. This is just something I kind of learned when I was on top of a freaking mountain. Out there near Mount Chiliad. And so now I can grab this guy and she'll follow me. And you can just kind of RP that out. The officer has her. I wish that Bajojo for Stop the Ped would allow uh maybe we could tell another officer to uh kind of grab them like i have here uh, let me know in the uh, comments if you agree with that it'd be kind of nice you know where they can just put them in the back of you can assign them okay, okay, i tell you. the other officer where to put them like uh, maybe a little pop-up window like where would you put them, like to put them in the back of your car or their car type of thing uh, we don't want to put them together. They've been fighting. Uh, can I not grab her? Oh, she had to stop her. That's right. You have to stop her from following first. I love how she parks in the middle of the damn street. It's nice, huh? All right, man. So you're going to be uh, charged with uh, assault as well. Okay. I mean... Two wrongs don't make a right. All right, so let's go ahead and uh, we'll do some narcotics uh, field tests on this particular individual here. He had some type of brown powder. I want to find out what that is. I'm going to go with uh, marijuana first, just to kind of rule out maybe THC or something like that, see if that's what it is. It's not that, so it's usually going to be heroin. Those are the two main brown patterns that we have in the game. There it is, heroin. Okay, he'll get charged with the controlled substance and also assault. I'm gonna look both of them up real fast. And this is John. He's, he does have a concealed handgun license. That is Rihanna Cole. She is on probation. So she may be looking at some jail time, I don't know. All right, we'll just do this real fast. Uh, it's, and we'll do a court case at the end of today's episode if you guys want to see that. Uh, let's role play this out that uh, we'll give them misdemeanors for domestic violence. Um, no, let's not do that. It doesn't sound very realistic, right, guys? So we're going to say uh, misdemeanor for assault. And then uh, he also had a uh, schedule, uh, schedule 2, I do believe. My bad. I thought it was under Schedule 2. Is it not under Schedule 2? Uh, not Schedule 1. Heroin. Sometimes I get those mixed up. And then she'll get uh, just assault on hers. So she may not do a lot of time in jail. She may not do any. I don't know. We'll find out at the end of the video today, right guys? We'll see with those charges. Uh, we're going to go ahead and do uh, pick up both. Who is yelling? Okay. Okay, having some weird glitching errors. We got two wins. All right, just pick him up, please, and uh, take him out of here. You and your twin can have fun there. Go to hell. Just about show me code four back tonight. Thank you. Attention, all units. Now right, let's get back on patrol here, guys. Let's see what we else we can get into. We have a possible 503 on um, Vespucci Boulevard. Okay, wanted criminal in car. Dispatch responding code 2. 10-4, Sam, 81. Okay, I'm seeing 
I'm not sure this is it or not. Uh, let's go down here and then it's supposedly... Let's see if we can locate this person. I don't know what kind of car it is though. It would have been nice to get that information. I think that's them we're in the red car. I think uh, they're trying to evade a little bit. Yeah, that's probably them right there. Dispatch, be advised. Uh, we get that suspect wanted inside that red vehicle. It's going to be a four-door red vehicle northbound Movie Starway. He's going to go through the red light. Yeah, he, he, I think he's about to evade. Here we go. See if he's gonna run. Oh, he's not running. Okay. Uh, let's see here. Dispatch, show me in a 95 Marathon Avenue, movie start away. Need you to do a 29 check. Affirmative. 10 4, copy that. Sam, 81. Proceed with caution. Dispatch requesting 28 81 George William Adam 220. Uh, also, run me a 29 on that. Okay, this is supposed to be a wanted person in a car, and all I'm getting back now is on a Mark Brown suspended license. That's all I've got, guys. This is why you don't get people out by gunpoint all the time. You know what I mean? Like, sometimes you get wrong information. Dispatch, requesting code 2 back up Marathon Avenue, movie star away. Got some bad intel here. Okay, let's uh, go ahead and get a backup unit here because uh, we don't know what's going to happen here. That is live radio you're hearing. What are you doing? Why are you back again? Did I make did I make her my partner by accident? You can leave, ma'am. Okay, I know you're dedicated to your job, but. Hi, right, sir. Hey, Officer Benzel, SPD. Okay, so the reason why we're pulling you over here, you had a the your license plate matched somebody that we're looking for. Uh, do you have a license registration insurance? He seems very nervous and sweaty, though. This is Mark Brown. Okay, Mr. Brown, can you do me a favor? Can you uh, step on another vehicle just for a second? Just want to have a chat. Okay, you're not in any trouble or anything like that. Uh, can you uh, follow me back over this way? Back over here, sir. All right, thank you. All right. Well, first of all, uh, once again, this is Officer Benzel, SPD. I, I really do appreciate your cooperation. Uh, just the, your car matched the description. Uh, do me a favor. Uh, can you go ahead and just sit on the ground real fast until we can work this out? You're not under arrest or anything. Uh, you're being slightly detained and inconvenienced, okay? So, once again, I apologize. One sec. Serene Party vehicle parked across from Bevmo at Sears parking lot. Okay, I'm going to look him up one more time. I think this is a bunk call, guys. Whoever mods this plug-in uh, does not do this correctly, is what it is. He does have a suspended driver's license. Uh, he just kind of happened to get the bad luck of the draw of us getting the wrong vehicle, or at least bad intel. Uh, rather than take his car away, I would like to see why is his license suspended? Ah, uh, God, man, he's... Can I do a traffic offense on this? I'm going to have to see if I can. Is there one for suspended license that doesn't require me to... Maybe right here. Uh, let me try to find it here, guys. I thought maybe uh, there might be, I, I have seen a cop do this before for a suspended license. 
and I'm, I'm just not finding it. I was hoping that it would be under documents like, you know, where it should be, but maybe... Yeah, it should be right here. And I'm not really finding it, so I'm thinking we may have to uh, place him under arrest. I hate that. Um, can we do warning documents? Uh, I doubt it. Okay, this is what I'm going to do. Y'all may just completely disagree with this. Okay, bud. Hey, listen to this, okay? Alright, step on up. I'm going to cut you a huge ass break. Your license is suspended, okay? And we had some bad intel. I'm just going to be straight up honest with you. We had bad intel. And uh, what I would do is get in the car. We're going to 22 this. Oh, you know what 22 means? That's where we uh, actually weren't here. You know what that means? That means you can leave. Go get your license and shit fixed, okay? You know what I mean? Wink, wink. Go get it fixed. I normally don't cut bricks like this. But in this case, I'm going to cut you a brick. Alright, you can uh, go ahead and get out of here, man. Alright, you have a good day, okay, sir? Sorry. Get your license fixed. Dispatch, be advised. We had bad intel. Uh, you can disregard everything that happened on this call. Wipe all dash cam footage, thank you. And body cam, thanks. <laughs> We're just having fun. Okay, officer, hey, I appreciate it. Uh, newbie, rookie, uh, you can leave, man. Okay, have a good day. Thanks for the backup. Dispatch, show me code four. Back to Nick. Attention, all units. Code four, no further units required. Okay, he wasn't wanted or anything. I, it said that he was wanted, you know, like he had a warrant for his arrest. It said wanted suspect in car. I didn't send anybody else in the car. So, yeah, we're back on patrol. Let's get out there. Who says Benzo doesn't cut brakes? Oh, looky here. Just about show me 10 7 for about five mics. Okay, we're going to flip on our traffic advisories. We're going to head right over here. I would like about this particular vehicle, you can see the traffic advisories there. And you got a little bit of action in the front, which is kind of cool. Okay, we do have a vehicle, actually pretty much two of them, blocking the fire hydrant. We have one in particular. Um, I think I may give this one a break. He's, he's still pretty close to the fire hydrant. But this one right here, no brakes. That one may just get a ticket. Let's give this guy a ticket first. Hey, listen up, everybody. Hey, everybody. Hey, listen up. Okay, so if this is your car behind me, this van. Uh, it's about to get towed. Any of these cars yours? You? Is that van yours? It's about to get towed. I'm going to give you about three seconds to get out of here. What about you guys? No? Okay. We're towing it. I'll give you an oppor opportunity there. Uh, let's see here. What is it? F5? Yeah. Uh, let's look at the parking history real fast. He's had, whoa, a $535 ticket. Let's look at that, guys. Parked in a handicapped spot a while back. Okay, this guy doesn't learn his lesson. Uh, we are going to do prohibited zones. This is going to be a fire lane. And we're going to submit that ticket. Uh, I meant to kind of do a 28 on this vehicle first, but that's okay. We'll do it here in a second. Let's see if he's got any anything going against him. I meant to do that first. My bad. Dispatch requesting 28. It's going to be for uh, two for uh, correction, uh, disregard, disregard. I think I was getting at another vehicle there. Bye bye. That's the other one. Yeah, that's the Buffalo. I saw it as soon as I released the uh, radio. Dispatch requesting 28. It's going to be on a black uh, four door. Uh, 24 Lincoln Adam Union 184 parked off of Rockford Hills. 
Roger, set draft. Okay, let's see what this one comes back as. Okay, they're good. See if I can see the license plate here. Yep. Dispatch requesting 28 for a gray van. Uh, parked outdoor set drive. 29 Queen Frank Henry 648. Queen, Frank, okay. Henry, six, four, eight. I, if this is not your, your van, hey, if this is not your van, man, you go ahead and just get out of here, okay? Just vomit us, man. You too? Okay, leave. What did he call me? <laughs> what did he call me? We're towing this van. All right, so this is going to be a fire hydrant, and I think there's something special with this one here. Uh, let's look at this parking offense history. Uh, looks like he's going to be also handicapped space. Uh, this is uh, parked on a lawn. That's interesting. That's a, I've never seen that. I uh, created a ticket, and it's going to be, I do believe, uh, it's going to be under violation of distances. So he's within uh, 15 feet of a fire hydrant. It's a $105 ticket, but we're going to submit this and we're going to tow him away. This is what we're going to do. We'll probably do like a flatbed or something is what I'm feeling. And then what I like about this parking ticket mod, it's uh, called, uh, uh, basically it's called parking enforcement. I can get that off my recommended plugins as well. And then if you look at his parking offense history now, uh, you'll see our ticket right here, actually right here. And you can see parked within 15 feet of fire hydrant. It's kind of cool, right? Keeps tabs on that. Dispatch requesting 51 for a gray van. Door set drive. 29 Queen Frank Henry 648. Parked next to a hydrant. Yeah, in some cities, if there's a fire, for example, across the street over there at uh, Kabgari. Uh, what is that? I don't know if that's a retail shop or a bank. I don't know. But if there was a fire over there, uh, they, if they couldn't get the vehicle out of here, they had, they had uh, put the fire hose here, they had bust out the windows and run it through the car. I'll give this guy a break right here. Sometimes it's fun just to, when you patrol, just do those kind of things. Dispatch, show me 10-8. Okay, so that guy right there got a ticket parking the far lane. And there goes the van in front of us. He got towed. What? Got an armed clown. Dispatch responding code 3. Okay, let's go. Now we are using a Carson SA Siren. Also found on my Google Docs down below. I like the horn. Pretty badass. Okay, so there's a supposedly an armed clown up here. Let's see if we can find him. He's last reported around this area of San Andreas Avenue and Elgin Avenue. Just about show me on scene. San Andreas Avenue, Elgin Avenue. Acknowledged, Sam, AD1. Proceed with caution. Just about show me code 6 in the area. Oh, there he is. Dispatch, be advised, we got eyes on suspect. He's entering a parking Hi. garage. Edward 1, ending mileage, notice 1631 hour. Copy that. Is that him there? Oh, he's got a weapon right there. Dispatch, requesting code 3 backup, power street. We're on the lower end. 
assistance needed on a uh, power street. Okay, you gonna play that? And grab my rifle from the back. He's just standing there, I guess. Okay, now I'm, I don't know if they can get down here because sometimes when you call for backup, they spawn up stairs. Hey, drop the weapon. Sir. Drop the weapon. Hey. Drop that weapon, man. Drop it. Do not point that at me. You stay right there. Do not move. Dispatch be advised. We got suspect again. Point Power Street. It's coming to the lower level. Lower level. Power Street. Do not move. Okay, we got him at gunpoint. Copy, thank you. Okay, I think they're gonna be upstairs, unfortunately. Not very realistic to do that, but we gotta grab this weapon from him just to make sure. I got your cover. All right. Dispatch be advised, you got 115. Gonna be a WMA dressed like a clown out of here. Power Street, lower Power Street. Right, bud. Are you coming with me? Okay. What are you doing walking around with the damn musket? Other officers Karen just spawning in everywhere. Okay, anything illegal on you? Huh? Go ahead. I'll cover you. Uh, let me ask him some questions here. There's no record. Anything illegal I should know about? Because nope. I ain't like that. Fill me. Or what, what am I going to find if I search you? My wallet, my keys, my phone. Oh, uh, okay. Alright, I'm going to pat you down. Oh, actually, he was not too far off, Gus. His name is Boge White. Interesting. All right, come with me. Get to the back of my vehicle here. Didn't have much on him. Hey, officer. I'm going to look him up. That could have ended a lot worse. See what his record looks like. He does not have a gun permit. Not like a big deal anyway. As far as like, I mean, it is a big deal. Don't get me wrong, but he would have gotten charged either way. But uh, he is going to uh, get arrested today for brandishing of a firearm. And I'm not sure if he's, you know, drunk or whatever the hell he's got going on. But uh, it's going to be weapons possession here. Uh, I'm trying to find brandishing. Uh, we're going to go with brandishing of a firearm and then also um, I don't know if this really I'm not a cop in real life so it really wasn't concealment we're just gonna go with brandishing uh, we could have gone with a lot of other things he what he was sort of resisting at first but I think we'll kind of go with this but uh, there's gonna be something else too like endangering the public right something like that um, let me see if there's anything else. Oh, you know what I can do real fast? Uh, let's check. I know it seems unrealistic, but let's check the serial number on the stupid musket. Uh, the pet is in the vehicle. Why does it say still on the scene? He's in the back of the vehicle. The fuck, man? Sometimes these mods just don't want to work. I can't even check the serial number. Okay, I was trying to look for... Uh, we could do owner of criminal threats would be there. Um, he was brandishing it. Why don't we go with criminal threats with firearm? We could RP that out a little bit. 
it's not going to be 100 percent accurate let me know what you would do down below in the in the comment section probably something about endangering the public right or something like that okay we're gonna go ahead and submit those tickets i can go ahead and take him uh hey officer karen go ahead and take him Sometimes they will shoot at you on that particular call. I dispatch be advised. We do have 115. They're going to be 76 back to the station with the officer carrying. Thank you. Ten four. All right, guys. So we're going to go ahead and just park over here. Okay, so let's look at the court cases here. So this is Budge White. Uh, actually, court cases here. So we had to do two separate charges. This is the brandishing of firearm right here. Uh, he got no prison time, not guilty. I mean, I had it on freaking dash cam, guys. And then he got four years with criminal threats with firearms. So I'm kind of glad we at least had that extra charge, right? Ariana Cole, she was the one that was assaulting the guy uh, down there on in downtown. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and say uh, no jail time. But she was on probation, so she might do six months. You know, no jail time. Really, just fine thir uh, $92, really? She was on probation. Okay, John Mason, he had position of heroin and assault. I'm going to say two years. Oh, look at that, guys. Perfect. Look at that. Right at two years. I usually never get those right. Uh, $57 for assault and then two years in prison. Yep, there we go, guys. All right. All right, guys, we're going to go ahead and wrap up today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really greatly appreciate you uh, watching the videos and stuff and hitting the like button and all the newcomers we have coming. My name is Mike. Go by Benzo. Been on YouTube for uh, almost uh, six years in October. So I really do appreciate you, and I really do appreciate all the patrons, the members. You guys are freaking awesome. And, guys, we'll see you on the next patrol. Stay safe, guys.